Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the genetics of localized albinism. So even though localized and generalized are two types of the same disease albinism, but the type of inheritance they follow is totally different. So generalized albinism follows autosomal recessive inheritance, whereas localized albinism follows X-linked recessive inheritance. So what is the meaning of X-linked recessive inheritance? This means that this type of albinism is inherited through a misprinted gene or a defective gene on the X chromosome. Now let us look at the sex chromosomes. So in the previous slide, we spoke about the autosomes. So when you talk about the sex chromosomes, they are very much different in boys and girls. So in boys, you have XY and in girls, you have XX. So what is common in these two? The X chromosome. And when you have a defective gene on this X chromosome, that defective gene on the X chromosome kind of inherits this localized albinism to the next generation. Right. So that means in this case, the localized albinism will also be dependent on the gender of an individual because the sex chromosomes decides whether a particular human being would be a boy or a girl. And that is why it is seen that localized albinism mostly affect boys. Why? Because boys do not have a backup copy of the X chromosome to protect them. Because as we see that this is a recessive inheritance, that means this disease occurs only when you have two copies of the defective gene. So in case of boys, if they have even one copy of the defective gene, so boys have only one X chromosome, so they will have the disease. But in case of girls, if they have only one copy of the defective gene, they will be carrier of the disease, but they will not be affected, right? Because that would be a heterozygous condition for girls. So they will not be affected, but they will be a carrier of the defective gene. So therefore, this disease mostly affect boys. So mostly affect boys. Now let us look at three different cases that how this uh, localized albinism gets inherited. So in case number one, we have affected father and unaffected mother. That means if you look at the father, the father has something like X a y where x a represents an abnormal gene on the x chromosome or an albino gene on the x chromosome rather a gene which causes albinism so father has x a y so the father is affected whereas the mother is unaffected and the mother is not carrier also so therefore the mother is x x so in this case what are the possibilities of children so the children would be x a x X, A, X could be one daughter where the daughter is carrier but not affected. Similarly, X, A, X would be another daughter which is again, who is again a carrier but not affected. The son would be X, Y and X, Y respectively. So basically the sons are not at all affected. So for a disease which is X linked recessive inheritance in that case, if your father is affected, if the father is affected with the disease, and if the mother is not affected, in that case, the sons will never be affected with the disease. Because why? Because the disease is present in the X chromosome of the father. And father never contributes its X chromosome to the sons. Because the sons get their X chromosome from the mother. But in case the mother was impacted, the sons would have also been impacted. So let us look at case number two. So in case number two, let us say that the father is affected. So we have affected father and we have a carrier mother. So the mother is not affected, but the mother is a carrier. That is the father would be X A Y and the mother would be X A X. So mother is not suffering from uh, albinism, but she carries a gene and she carries an albino gene. So in this case, what are the possible gametes from father? X, A and Y from the mother it would be X, A and X. So what are the various possibilities of the children? So these would be the various possibilities. So this could be X, A, X, A. The next possibility could be X, A, X. Third possibility could be X, A, Y and fourth possibility would be X, Y. So X, A, X, X, A. What is this? 
This is affected daughter. X A X is not affected but carrier daughter. When you look at the son, so the son is affected. So affected son and this is normal son. It is not affected. So in this case, if the mother is carrier, the moment mother is a carrier, it is for sure that, this, that there are chances that the son would be affected. So even whether the father is affected or not, the moment mother is carrier, there is a chance that the son would get affected because the sons get their X chromosomes from the mother. Right? So even if mother is carrier, there are chances that the son would get affected as you see in this case. So here, if you see the daughter is getting affected because the father was affected, because the daughters are get, getting that chromosome from the father. So the daughter would get affected only if the father is affected and the mother is also either affected or a carrier. Right? So if mother is a carrier, father is affected, daughter will get affected. And the son will get affected only if either the mother is affected or the mother is a carrier. So basically, whether the son will have this disease or not, that depends on the mother and not on the father. Because the Y chromosome doesn't play any role here in this case. So son's disease will completely depend on the mother. Now let us look at a case 3. So in case 3, we take a more severe scenario where we say that the father is affected. So it is affected father and we also have an affected mother. So both of them are affected. So let's see what will happen in this case. So affected father would be XAY and affected mother would be XAXA. Right. So in this case, obviously, I mean, with, with common sense also, you can say that when both the parents are affected in that case, the chances of their children getting affected will definitely be more. And that's true. So here in this case, since the father is affected, so the daughters will also have one of their X chromosomes affected. Now, since the mother is also affected, mother affected means the sons will get affected and also the daughters will also get affected in their other X chromosome also. So let's see what are the various possibilities that we get in this case. So in this case, it would be X, A, X, A. This would again be X, A, X, A. This would be X, A, Y. This would also be X, A, Y. So here you see all the children get affected. So there is 100% possibility that the children of this couple would be affected with albinism. So the entire logic here in the genetics of albinism is that boys get it more because they just have one X chromosome. So if that X chromosome has a defective gene, the boys get affected. The boys will get affected or not, that totally depends on the mother. If the mother is a carrier, boy, boys can get affected. If the mother is affected, boys can get affected. So whether the boys will have it or not, that depends on the mother. Whether the girls will have it or not, that depends on both father and mother. Because if only the father is affected, the girls will be the carrier, but they will not get affected. So the girls will get affected only if both father is affected and the mother is either a carrier or affected. So only in that case, the girls will get affected. So you see, it is easier for boys to get affected to it. So even if the father is normal, but if the mother is a carrier also, the boys will get affected, right? But for girls to be affected, the father has to be affected plus the mother has to be either a carrier or an affected one. So only then the girls will get it. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.